Hello, Leo. Welcome. These messages are for November 11th through November 18th, 2023. I will never solicit you. I will never say there's a reading waiting for you. I'll never say I'm picking a random person. I don't DM. I don't ask for money. I don't solicit my services. If you want me, you can book me right through Etsy. It's safe and secure. With that being said, let's get into this. Make sure you're only following this one account. I have no backups. There's multiple accounts of me online, so just be careful. Let's get into this reading for you. What do you need to know about the energy around you? So we have Heartbreak Palace. So I feel like this is like something that you feel rather scorned about or hurt deeply about. This could be a past pain that you've been holding on to for a great many years. It almost seems as if it's turning you to stone though on the inside. Okay, um, I feel like if you look at this statue, it's like bleeding endlessly and it's just bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. So I feel like there's some wound, Leo, a big one that you have not healed. You may have been going through life with this wound and just slapping a Band-Aid on and it gets saturated and you rip it off and you just put another one on. But you never really go to the root. You never really go to um, like the cause or the core of it all. Just like, you know... If you had to do an x-ray and try to figure out where is the problem. So I feel like you need to try to figure out where is the problem. Um, I feel like you may be losing hope over some things. Or you may think that maybe you're not worthy of love. Or that love is just pain no matter what way you look at it. You may have like a very disheartened view on love or the way love really is. Or maybe you thought you knew what love was but it's not that. So I feel like there's something there with that that needs to come to surface. I feel like you feel very deserted, um, like, you know, pain in pain, um, like there's a lot, a lot of loss or you feel like you're losing something or missing something or something is lost. Um, but what is truly breaking your heart? Um, don't let yourself become like a suffering soul because I feel like that's what this is. Um, you know, some of these emotions are only meant to be temporary. Like anger is meant to be temporary. It's not meant to be a permanent emotion or else it does turn you to stone and it turns you bitter and nasty. We don't want that. We're not here to live our lives that way. We're all spiritual beings. We're all having a spiritual experience. We have contracts with people. Some things are karmic. Some things are soulmate, you know, things. But all of these relationships are teaching us something. Um, you know, is there a time where you remember the skies to be blue before they were so gray and desolate and, you know, follow through with your pain, but then take the arrow out and break that bitch in half and throw it on the ground because you have the power here. You don't think you do, but you really do. So the broken heart and the suffering, it, it's not meant to last it's meant to be more temporary emotions that you, you know, really like step into a course of healing and make a commitment to you because this is also self-punishing and it's also a bit of victimization. I'm sorry, Leo, I love you, but it's a little bit victim. So I feel like, yes, whatever you've gone through is deeply painful or you're going through some deeply painful things or maybe you've always gone through deeply painful things. And you wonder when will it ever end and why me and am I being punished? Let's see what else do we need to hear or know. You're not being punished and see we have the blame game. So this is meant for you, this whole situation, whatever it is, this energy around you, is meant to show you that you cannot blame anybody. Have to take ownership. Um, maybe where you, you know, feel like you're defeated or where you're blaming others for your pain and for your strife and for your difficulties. But you can change your life. You can change your life. You can make time for you. You can go to counseling. You can join a support group. You can talk to friends. You can let this out. You can write about it. You can do things to help release it. You can ground. You can center. You can try to get some time in nature. Um, you can let go of blame. You can forgive wherever you can, yourself and others, take ownership, try to make different choices that, you know, will shift you into a new direction and away from like this set in stone, stone cold pain that you think you deserve and you're holding on to the pain and you're holding on to the awful circumstances. But 
you're responsible too for your life and direction and your happiness and you can definitely steer it different. Ask yourself, how am I blaming others for my problems? How have I refused to take ownership for the life I'm creating? When you stop blaming yourself and others, you'll begin to see that the power lies in your own hands. Check back next week.